So I've been inspired to uh, start vlogging again. You know, I want to re-kickstart my YouTube channel. Plus, I see a lot of people have success, you know, in generating. Uh, I mean, come about being creative, and I think I have a pretty, pretty dope life. You know what I'm saying? So, actually, on my way, got a 10 a.m. call time, and hopefully, I'll make it in time. Shoot this little interview, producers versus show. You should go check us out. And uh, yeah, let's see what my day consists of. Just messed my fucking train by seconds. Hopefully, there's another one coming. Oh shit, there is one. Bet. You know, now that I think about it, I think I'm forgetting a piece to my tripod. Pray to God it's in my bag. I don't think BNH is open. I'd be a bitch to have to go buy another piece. Actually, I wouldn't do, mind doing that. I'd rather do that than uh, go all the way home. Uncaged Ultra Boost, so cozy. Definitely feel like these are more comfortable than a regular cage. The thing about Love New York is the energy here. More energy here than I've been like in any city. I'm from Atlanta. So moving here to a real city like this and not just a city that's like only three miles of buildings, something uh I feel like I heard everybody should experience, especially I'm a true country boy. So, I keep seeing all these videos and I keep talking to folks and they keep saying that the 3.0 is more comfortable, the Ultra Boost is more comfortable than a 2.0. And after getting the Uncaged, I don't even know if there's anything that could top that, but they're saying that it's possible. So I done spent $300 to get these fucking triple blacks and I gotta go out and check these 3.0s out. Place of the shoot today, Janelle. Bomb ass Indian spot, love this place. And uh, there's my boy's uh, restaurant too. Just like I thought I had to go to B&H because I forgot the uh, piece for the camera. Now I went on the train to get back. Call time was at 10, but we shooting at 11, so I got like 15 minutes to get back. God bless b and for being so close so on the low. This is a 60 minute style interview. 60 minute style, but we're uh, having fun. We're, we're Are we 60, taking it super seriously? No, we're talking about ridiculous no. things? We're talking about ridiculous things, and we're, we're, we're 60 minutes so broken. We're broken, okay. Okay, so there's certain things I want to do. Like, I just, I, like, oh, by the way, I love you, bro. I was following it. Oh, it's off center on the same in side. This, in this so thing, no, different <laughs> sizes. <laughs> no. I can't tell. So what happened was, like, right, these were my kick ass shoes, right? In the okay. Oh. And I had bleach, and I made a mistake and rung it on my shoes by accident. Oh. Um, you should just kept going with it, made it like a leopard. You might want to, like, yeah, get a couple more spots in there. But I'm like, how often do people look at your shoes? So I was like, I can skate. Often. <laughs> That's like the first thing you look at a lot of times, even subconsciously. And so I was like, well, people are going to think it's a style. <laughs> I mean, I I kind of did, but I wasn't sure, but I had to. You're going to be a trendsetter. Everybody in oh. Soho is going to be wearing that. Bleach. Oh, you got to take a You can call it bleach. Um, yeah, like, is it cold outside? Yeah, it's cold. Well, you know, I'm from the south, so everything's cold to me. Hey, fellas. One thing I love about New York, I'm just walking down the street and I run into my partner. What's yeah, good? Yeah, man, that's what's up. Hey, what's going on, people? How you doing? Tony getting ready to go to this Resident Evil presentation, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm supposed to say that right now, but fuck it. You know, fuck it's it, like hey. Now, you know? For real. And I told I was like, yo, I'm gonna roll with you. I was like, I got a camera, I'll shoot you. I don't have nothing else to do. Not until like 7, no oh, well. Shit. You got time, man. Yeah, I got hella time, bro. I ain't stressing. I was at um, freelancing, though. Is, is that good money? Yeah, so you know, I shoot, I do photos, and I video edit. Oh, but, uh, video editing, that's, that's kind of high demand. So, craziest thing just happened. I ran to my boy Tony. 
end up going to like a private early screening for Resident Evil, the game. And for the last 20 years, I don't like Resident Evil and I don't like it now. But it's definitely cool to check out. I can see people play that shit all the time. Shit took up like about hours and some change of my time. Freaking starving now. Better go see what's good with this uh, free, whatchamacallit, Frosty from Wendy's. You know, a little T-Mobile app. It's been a wild last couple days. I feel like a freaking sub-zero. I feel like a freaking ninja in that thing. But uh, yeah, so it's been a wild couple days. <clears throat> Went from having a whiskey. Oh, turn on my light. Went from having like a little whiskey tasting, which was cool. And then directly right afterwards, Go, I got invited to an ugly sweater party, so I had to go out the last minute and buy the sweater. Little did I know, it's going to be hella industry people there, and it was like a little Rock Nation situation going on there. And then, uh, you know, got a couple of my people up there. <laughs> Inside of there, you know, it was kind of like just buzzing or whatever, nothing really popping off. I already was feeling good from the uh, whiskey tasting. They you know, they was like, oh, it's going to be open bottle. I mean, open bar, but only uh, Ciroc. And needless to say, this is not college anymore, so I ain't do, I ain't really with that shot stuff. Took one with my boy Chris and then just kept it easy for the rest of the night. But one thing that really kind of uh, popped off at the night well, one thing that really kind of popped off during that night was, uh, you know, out of nowhere, a Yo Gotti pulls up, who I call my boy Bryson's uncle. Then, Meek Mills pulls up, and honestly, I didn't know that was Meek Mills, because Meek Mills has such a generic, like, look. He looks like, you know, the basic default character on NBA 2K17 on my player. Then, like, you know, as I'm getting ready to, like, leave and things kind of dying down, my homegirl's like, yo, isn't that a, is that Chance? And I'm looking. And Chance is like standing like right behind me. Every time I kind of go to look at him, he keeps turning away. And I was like, I don't know. So I tried to put forth a little bit more after to go look. But there was a lot of people there I couldn't, couldn't really see. And I was like, fuck it, whatever. So I ended up leaving. Come to find out Chance the Rapper was there. You can see the picture right here. But yeah, so then today I had a chance to check out Star Wars Rogue One. And, uh, you know, for that to be a side story... The thing is pretty, pretty dope. Now, I mean, you kind of already know what's going to happen, but to see, like, you know, the fine details and actually the, you know, that led up to, you know, them finding a way to destroy the Death Star was pretty, it's pretty raw. So I appreciate that. One thing I don't really like too much about what Disney's doing is that they're trying to release Star Wars movies every year. And episode eight coming out next year. I mean, I wish they would do it like maybe 2019. What's this year? 17, 18, maybe 2018. You know what I'm saying? I push it too close. But, uh, yeah. Rogue One gave me a lot of my, uh, my Darth Vader fix. Just enough. They didn't OD it with, uh, Jedi and the Force. It was pretty much, like, you know, the foot soldiers. That was, like, the main focus of it. And it was, like, hella different Star Troopers. But I ain't gonna spoil it too much. Darth Vader did have his, uh, Darth moments. And I appreciate that. But, yeah, so. You know, like I said, a couple, dope couple of days. Star Wars. Meeting. You know, at the party with Chance of Rapping and everybody else. So, you know, it's just been a pretty good, pretty cool couple of days. So, I really got any plans for this weekend right now, but it's New York City, anything can happen. Yeah. 